we're doing a new reading for you Sagittarius this is called don't wonder anymore that's right you don't have to wonder anymore Sagittarius we're going to get some answers for you Sag Sun Moon and Rising Sun Moon and Rising in Sagittarius Ooh, okay. so I just feel like my energy was sapped <laughs> I feel like for those of you that I'm connecting with, there is something going on in September, going on right now, that has you low on energy. Perhaps it's very difficult for you to do things, to get up and move. There's a lack of inspiration, motivation that comes and goes. Let's see. Sag, Sun, Moon, and Rising. This reading is perfect for those of you that want answers, that need a situation clarified. Maybe you're getting mixed signals, Sag. Let's see. Sun, Moon, and Rising. Before I start your reading, Sag, I do have a few announcements. I have... Uh, I'm taking 24 hour readings again. I had stopped for about a month because I was overbooked. I have specialty readings on my website. I have life purpose reports, twin flame reports, and I also have mediumship readings. And lastly, I offer weekly pick a card readings on my Instagram. So for those of you that want to follow me, there's a link down below that will take you to my Instagram page. So that's it, that's all I have to say. Now let's continue. For those of you that are my subscribers, you know that I like to shuffle my cards for a little while. As I'm shuffling, I'm getting feelings, impressions. I'm a highly sensitive empath. I'm also a psychic medium. Let's see. I want to shuffle one more time. The first card represents what they're telling you, Sag. Let's see, what are they telling you? Let's take a look. We have the Three of Winds. So the Three of Winds, I feel like this person is telling you, one, they could have communicated some very disappointing news. Something that broke your heart, for example, that really caused you pain so I feel like this person either communicated that it's over or that they're not happy anymore the three of winds is what they're telling you so they're telling you it's over or they're telling you that they're not happy they're unfulfilled let's see for some others of you this person could be telling you that they're heartbroken let's take a look at how the reading continues this is what you see. This is what you perceive about them, about the situation. Let's see, Sagittarius. We have the King of Winds. There could be an air sign of significance, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or this King of Winds is representing a person that is not talking very much, could be very emotionally detached, very cold very unforgiving as well as what i'm getting the king of winds this is what you see let's clarify the king of winds in this three of winds winds being swords we have the strength card this is leo energy so what you perceive about the situation i feel like this person is not communicating with you they're not saying a whole lot, but you know that deep inside, they're in pain, three of winds, and they're trying to remain strong. Strength card. Also resisting, right? Resisting, holding themselves back. This is what you see. Someone with a very tough exterior. Let's clarify the three of winds and what they're telling you. Ace of gardens. 
This is the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like this person is wanting to start all over new. They want a new opportunity, whether that is with you or just in general. Let's see how the reading continues. The Ace of Gardens. This is what they're thinking. What are they really thinking? We have the hair font. The hair font. What I'm getting from the hair font is they're thinking that they're sorry. They want forgiveness. The hair font represents the church. So people go to church, right, to confess, to seek truth. The hair font. So I feel like, the, and also the hair font represents commitment relationships. So I feel like this person is thinking about all those things. Let's clarify the hair font. There could be a Taurus of significance. We have the Ace of Fire. Strongly feel that this person is wanting a new opportunity. They're wanting a second chance. But what you see is someone that is not expressing that with the King of Winds and the Strength card. So this could manifest as someone, for example, that wants to reconcile, but their Pride Strength card could be getting in the way. Or there's something that is stopping them from really expressing themselves truthfully. The King of Winds and the Hair Font. Let's see. What are they really feeling? Let's see, Sagittarius. How do they really feel? What's in their heart space? Sag. We have the Empress. There could be a Libra, a Taurus of Significance that's in their heart. Or this Empress is representing unconditional love, very strong emotions, understanding. This person could want that. They could want your unconditional love. They could want your understanding. The Empress represents the mother. Let's clarify this Empress. We have the King of Fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, there could be another fire sign of significance, or this is you, Sagittarius. This is what they're feeling. Strongly feel that they want your support. The Empress. They want your attention, your forgiveness, your understanding. Let's see. Where is this headed, Sagittarius? Where is this headed in September? We have the Three of Fire. This is the Three of Wands. So the Three of Wands is all about the possibilities. It's about expansion. It's about uh, seeing things from a higher perspective. Seeing the possibilities, the Three of Fire. Let's clarify. Seeing the opportunities. We have the Emperor. This is the war card. There could be an Aries of significance. Where is this headed? Three of fire, the war card. I strongly feel that this is headed towards someone finally gathering up the courage, the strength to take action because that is the emperor represents Aries. And uh, Aries is all about taking action quick, right? Don't even think about it, just strike. So this is where this is headed. Someone finally showing, I'm hearing showing their face. Especially so, right, with the Emperor, which uh, represents Aries and Aries rules the head. Let's see, let's get one more card. We have the Seven of Winds. So the Seven of Winds is someone that has done something that is less than honorable. The Seven of Winds is a Seven of Swords. It represents a thief. So this is someone that committed a crime, something that, well, 
they weren't supposed to do right that's why they're sneaking away and they know it so this is someone that is going to be coming back what did i say someone who is going to be showing their face finally this is where it's headed let's clarify specifically this three of fire three of fire and here it's depicted as someone in a hot air balloon so someone's coming <laughs> slow right because an air balloon moves slow we have the world card this is Aquarius this is Capricorn so with the world card in this three of fire this is headed to a new beginning realizing the world card represents universal consciousness so i feel like this person finally is able to see a broader perspective right which is allowing them to finally take action because they can see right all the possibilities a way out let's see I want to grab a card from this oracle deck Sagittarius so this is what uh, where this is headed pretty much what is going on here I'm going to summarize it is that someone is sorry feelings were hurt there's a strong desire for a second chance a new opportunity what you're perceiving is someone that is not communicating that is holding on to their pride that is what you see someone that is cold what they're thinking about is forgiveness they're thinking about expressing themselves they're thinking about communicating their truth what they are feeling is they're wanting understanding from you king of fire unconditional love but you know mostly just forgiveness and understanding where this is headed is pretty much this person finally gaining a higher perspective which pretty much manifests as someone that can finally right find a way out find a solution to their problems three of wins Three of, I'm um, sorry, the three of fire. So the three of fire is an energy of someone that has to gather up the courage to finally take action, to pursue an endeavor. That is the three of uh, fire, the three of wands. So this is where it's headed. This person finally doing that. And closing a chapter, the world card. The war the emperor i'm getting confused here with the names uh, because they're different the war card the emperor and the seven of wands is someone that is finally going to take responsibility for their actions and is going to show right their face is what i'm hearing so let's see let's pull a card from here sagittarius Sagittarius. I am a moon in Sagittarius. I know a lot of you know that already. Alright, let's get a card for you, Sag. We have Take a Chance on Love. <laughs> Doesn't that go very well with uh, the outcome here? Take a chance on love. When we start to love, our lives are changed forever. This is what I have for you, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you. It was my honor and my pleasure. You take care. Bye-bye.